When you are close to giving birth to your dreams, you will face your greatest attacks. The enemy waits till you're close to the breakthrough, close to the healing, close to the promotion. When you're about to step into a new level of your destiny, don't be surprised if you hit a setback. That's a sure sign you're about to give birth to what God has placed in your heart. The good news is the forces that are for you are greater than the forces that are against you. Your destiny cannot be stopped by bad breaks, by opposition, by people, nor by all the forces of darkness. God has the final say. When you stay in agreement with Him, He will get you to where you're supposed to be. You may be up against that big challenge. That tells me you need to get ready. You're about to give birth. You're about to see a promise come to pass. You're about to see that child turn around. This is not the time to get discouraged and think, oh, it's taken so long. No, now more than ever, you need to have the attitude, I am in it to win it. I am not going to let this bad break, this unfair situation, this disappointment steal my dreams. I'm going to give birth to everything God's placed in my heart. If we look at your background, you should have been a basket case. You should have had a nervous breakdown and lost your mind. But there's something in your gut, in your heart, in your spirit, in your innermost being that said, hold on. That instinct, that still small voice is about to turn your life around. And it doesn't matter how you get knocked down in life, because that's going to happen. All that matters is that you got to get up. Fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again, fall down, get back up again. It ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. The hardships that we've had are actually the things that teach us the skills and the perspective we need to actually become what we want to be. And if you quit, if you falter, if you stop, all of the pain will be for nothing. Control of yourself, get control of your emotions. Don't get angry, don't get frustrated. Instead, stay calm and figure out how to move forward. Don't you stop until you turn that house into a home, that mess into a message, that test into a testimony. Don't you stop until you see increase. Whatever it is I want, this price is going to get much higher than this. It's going to get harder than this. And I've decided in advance it's going to be difficult, and I've decided in advance to stay in. I'm going to stay in the hunt. I'm going to stay fighting. I'm going to stay busting it. I'm going to pay the price until I get what it is that I deserve. The people in life that win play offense, not defense. Stop backing into everything. Stand up. Bow your back a little bit. Start to walk a little different. Start to be that best version of you. You need to look yourself in the mirror and encourage yourself and say, I'm still gifted. I've been through some pain, but I'm still gifted. I've buried some loved ones, but I'm still gifted. I've had some setbacks, but I'm still gifted. You have to resolve yourself today that you're going to win, that you're going to dominate, that you're not average and ordinary. There has to become a point where you make a decision. We're going to dominate. We're here to win. We are not here to play. And that takes some intestinal fortitude. It takes a decision. I'm where I'm at because I just flat decided at some point I get to just choose who I am. The world doesn't tell me who I am. And in every family, there's a the one that eventually shows up in a family. They rise up and changes the whole family forever. I'm the damn one. And in your family, you could be the one. It's you. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I'm the one. I'm the one to make this happen. I'm the one to become successful in this business. But you know it's going to be hard, but find out what will make it worth it for you. When life drops you to your knees, your reasons will help you get back up. Why are you here, Les? Because I want to make Mama proud of me. Why are you here, Les? I promise my kids I'm going to do for them. I'm going to give them a better life. I want to leave them a legacy. I'm not going to give up. Go back, go back, fool, go back. No, no. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. At the end of your feelings is nothing, but at the end of every principle is a promise. 
Behind your little feelings, it might not be absolutely nothing at the end of your little feelings. But behind every principle is a promise. And some of you in your life, the reason why you're not at your goal right now is you're just all about your feelings. you all on your feelings. You don't feel like waking up. So who does? Every day you say no to your dreams, you might be pushing your dreams back a whole six months, a whole year. That one single day, that one day you didn't get up could have pushed your stuff back I don't know how long. Wonder what would happen to your life. Now think about it a minute. I, there's a lot of things you could take from me and I could make it. You could take my suit. I got another one. You could take my car. I could get another one. You could take my house. I could get another house. Uh, but when you take my time, you have taken something from me that is totally irreplaceable. We take all kind of classes for money management. We, we know how to manage our money. We know how to repair our houses. We're working on our hair and our bodies and all of this kind of stuff. We do everything except the most important thing is to value our time. It takes time to be creative. If you had time, you would be creative. But in the absence of time and with busyness and clutter and beep, 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 the phone ring, beep, 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 y'all got music playing on your phone and all kinds of stuff. And no matter what kind of song you put on it after a while, you hate to hear it because every time you hear that sound, you know it's somebody else wanting something else from you that's taking you away from what you are gifted and created. If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. That it's necessary, that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative. The people that are living their dream are finding winners to attach themselves to. The people that are living their dreams are the people that know that it's, if it's going to happen, it's up to them. And they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, I'm the one, I'm the one, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people that are running after their dreams are the people that are hungry. Hunger is the ultimate driver. Because if you're hungry, you can get the strategy, you can get the answer. If you can't model it, you can find it. Motivation gets you going. Discipline, commitment, strong habits is what gets things done. Commit once. You don't need to commit more than once. You commit once to the thing that you're going to do, and then you do it every single day. That everyday method is the is one of the most powerful methods for reconstructing your entire life. When you perceive choice, you perceive motivation. You're more motivated. So the deal is, for yourself, sit back and reflect. Be mindful of the choices you have. And talk about being a success seeker rather than a failure avoider. It's all how you talk, how you communicate to yourself and to others. You just can't turn on passion. You can't just turn on the desire to execute a task. It just doesn't work that way. And honestly, that isn't even what motivate means. To motivate actually needs to provide a motive, a reason why. When you have a thing that is pulling you through because you're legitimately excited about it, that's when things start to happen. So I find that a lot of times lack of motivation has to do with not structuring your life in a way where you actually care about the outcome. So find that thing, stop judging yourself because I think everybody at least sees a flicker of interest inside of them, something that they they really find interesting and they want to at least explore deeper. Always go to something bigger than yourself. I'm wondering if you've been defeated because you have been giving yourself wholly to something that was too small to hold you. Have you thrust yourself into a glass of water Yes, sir. Have you leaped off the diving board into a cereal bowl person? Are you not guilty of immersing yourself into things that were too small to hold your vision? My problem is so many times you've thrown big ideas at small people. You've given big commitment to cereal bowl people.
and you're trying to get your sight back from a source that's too small to support what you're willing to put in. Is your investment bigger than the bank? You should see the way you're looking at me. Is your is the reason you keep being disappointed by people is that you have wholly thrown yourself into something that was too small. Don't let that happen. Get aggressive. Be vigilant. Attack and destroy the weakness in your head. Go. Everybody wants to do work when they're feeling strong and they're feeling refreshed. But what's more important is when you actually do the work when you're feeling tired and feeling weak and feeling lazy. When you have those feelings, it's even more important to step up and get some. There are areas within myself where I cannot compromise. I have to hold the line. I am going to work hard. I am going to train hard. I am going to improve myself. I am not going to rest on my laurels. I'm going to own my mistakes and confront them. I am going to face my demons. I'm not going to give up or give out or give in. I am going to stand. I am going to maintain my self-discipline. There will be no compromise. Not now, not ever. Turn your wounds into wisdom. You will be wounded many times in your life. You'll make mistakes. Some people will call them failures. But I have learned that failure is really God's way of saying, excuse me, you're moving in the wrong direction. Real work is to figure out where your power base is and to work on the alignment of your personality, your gifts that you have to give, with the real reason why you're here. That's that's the number one thing you have to do, is to work on yourself and to fill yourself up and keep your cup full, keep yourself full. Now, I used to be afraid of that. I used to be afraid, particularly from people who say, oh, she, she's so full of herself, mm, she's so full of herself. And now I embrace it. I, I consider it a compliment that I am full of myself because you only when you're full, I'm full, I'm overflowing. My cup runneth over. I have so much, I have so much to offer and so much to give. And I am not afraid of honoring myself. You know, it's miraculous when you think about it. We are busier than any other generation we have seen in the last three to four hundred years. We are so busy. We are we are busier than a wall than a one arm wallpaper hanger. We're just busy. Bu You'll get it later. Don't worry about it. It'll, it'll hit you in a minute. We are just as busy as we can be, and we think because we're busy, we're effective. But I want you to challenge your schedule for a minute and ask yourself: Are you are you really being effective? Or is your life cluttered with all kinds of stuff that demands you and drains you and taxes you and stops you from being your highest and best self? And are you substituting busyness and all the chaos that goes along with busyness from being effective? Let me tell you, a bunch of scientists got together and they began to do some research and they began to determine that 80% of the things we do are busy things that we do in an area that is not effective, that the average person only spends 20% of their time doing the thing that they are really gifted at, created at, passionate about, excited to do, and the rest of it is all the dismal, dumb stuff that we all have to do in order to survive. Just crazy stuff that we're doing. Wonder what would happen if we would go from doing 80% of things that are busy but not effective and 20% of the things that are really effective if we would switch those numbers around and only give 20% of our time to the things that we have to do and 80% of our time to the thing that we were created to do. And when you need motivation yourself, don't look for someone to scream and yell. Don't look for someone else to give you motivation. Look at yourself and remind yourself why. Why you are doing what you are doing. Remind yourself 
that this struggle, this temporary pain, this fight, this fight that you're in, this is what will make you stronger and faster and smarter and better. Don't be upset by the results you didn't get from the work you did not do. I don't want you to be upset. I don't want you to be angry. I want you to be like, I didn't get the result because I didn't do the work. I didn't show up on time. I didn't do what I said I was going to do. I hit the snooze button. I made an excuse. I didn't make adjustments. I'm tired of people talking about, I want to be successful. I want to be great. Look, everybody wants to be a feast. And so it's time to do what real bees do. And let me tell you something. That means getting up early, going to bed late. That means you don't go to sleep when you're tired. You go when you're done. If you just decide, I'm going to keep my word. If I say something, I'm going to do it regardless. Being more disciplined. Find something that you can look at your life that you say, hey, I know I've got a problem in this area. Being late, procrastinating, not taking care of business, being seriously not serious. I need to deal with that. I guarantee you, if you're wondering why it is that everybody else has this and that and this, 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 and why you don't have, sh I guarantee you that if you take an inventory of your actions, they equal what you're getting, period. If you do the work consistently, if you invest in yourself consistently, 10 years of motherfucking work when everybody else is partying, making excuses, doing the cool thing on the weekend, it's going to pay off. The biggest enemy you'll ever have to fight against is yourself. You want to change your life? You want to save more money? You want to get in shape? What's the thing that holds you back from doing any of those? It's you. You get in your own way every single fucking time. You got to get to a point where you're tired of losing. You got to decide you're not going to be a fucking loser anymore. You're going to be a winner. Stop letting yourself down. Stop breaking all these promises you make to yourself about how you're really going to do it this time. This is the last time I give in to that addiction. If you don't truly mean it, don't bother saying it. But if you truly do want to change, you've got to decide wholeheartedly that I will not deviate from the plan. I will stick to it no matter what happens. I will execute every day of my life on that goal, on that vision, as if my life depends on it. Stop taking your life so casually. You've got to get serious about making the changes you want to see. Don't leave room in your life for laziness. Don't leave room for slacking off. Don't leave room for sickness. Don't leave room for excuses. Don't leave room for just this one time. No. You've got to have the mindset of a motherfucking machine. And that machine cares about one thing and one thing only, executing on the goal. If it doesn't support your goals, you cut it out of your life. If you know it will help you achieve the vision, you double down on it. Discipline in your mind every single day is what leads to success. Discipline is what breaks through all the infinite excuses and reasons you come up with on why you can't do it. The more you do those hard tasks you got to do, facing those hard things and destroying them, executing on the mission, your daily life will get better and better. You have to reach a point where you don't let your bullshit feelings control the outcomes. You get it done whether you want to do the work or not. You don't have time to be in your feelings. The weights won't lift themselves. The work won't complete itself. The books won't study themselves. You have to do it and you have to do it now. And while you're sitting there thinking, hesitating, debating in your head whether you should go do it or not, you're falling behind. Get your ass up and get to fucking work. The more you grind, the more you execute on the mission, you will separate yourself further and further from the crowd of average people who would rather spend their time coming up with reasons why they can't get it done today. You don't just work out once, study once, invest once, and change your life overnight. No, you have to be consistent. You have to never let your foot off the gas, never stop, never quit. You have to do that thing you gotta do every day of your life.
You may hate it some days, but you got to do it relentlessly and know that in the end, it'll all be worth it. The sacrifices you're making today for a better tomorrow are going to pay off. But if you quit, if you let up, it's not going to happen. Stay focused and stay on track. Don't let anyone or anything pull you off the plan. You have got to stop rationalizing. Stop making excuses. Stop telling yourself little watered down assessments of where you're really at. Tell yourself the truth. And the truth is that you do have the time. You do have the money. You do have the support. You do have the willpower and the discipline to get it done. And when we're being honest with ourselves, we know that we can all do much more than what we're doing right now. We can all give more to life than what we are right now. So you got to decide within yourself that you're going to start working harder than ever. You're going to start going to work earlier. You're going to be the last one to leave there. You're going to try harder than anyone else would even dare to. Other people will think, why would you even bother doing that much? Why do you try so hard? You're doing too much. But they won't understand. Pay no attention to them. They'll never get it because they don't have that killer mentality. When you're a killer, you keep striving for that highest level possible and you don't stop until you get it. Get in the habit of doing more than what anyone is willing to pay you to do. Because that's where success is born. It's going beyond people's expectations and amazing them. You shock the world with your results. And that work begins right now with no one looking. It's what you do in the shadows, in those early mornings, late nights, where you're grinding away on those tasks and goals. Those moments are what bring it into the light, where all eyes are on you. The price for greatness must be paid every day. And that price is discipline, sweat, suffering, enduring, consistency. And at the end of it all, you win. People want to find peace immediately. But the only way you'll find real peace is by going to war with yourself every single day. The real battleground is in your mind. That's where the fight is. You lay down with it. You get up with it. You go to work with it. It's not haters. It's not enemies. It's not liars. It's not backbiters. It is you. You're the only one who can stop you. And I need you to make a declaration right now. No more excuses. This moment right here is the last time you let yourself off the hook. You've got to become obsessed with improvement. Every day you got to get better. There are those of you who buy a new piece of tech every time a new one is released. Every new phone that comes out, you get it. Every upgrade, you get it. You are constantly upgrading your technology and you've not upgraded yourself. You got to level yourself up every single year, every single month, every single day. You should always be striving to do better than you did last time. So many of you say, I want to be a millionaire. I want to graduate at the top of my class. But your value system says you believe in relaxing more than you believe in grinding. Your value system says you'd rather party than become successful. Your value system says you're a consumer and not a producer. And if you're going to go to the next level, your values are going to have to change. The secret is make a plan, execute the plan, become obsessed with the plan and make it your entire life from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed for 20 fucking years. It's the day to day disciplines. It's the eating the meals, doing the workouts, doing the best you can in your career, doing the best you can for your family. Those are the things that are going to create your superpower so that you can go through life being an unstoppable force. Most things that never get done, never get done because they never get started. There is no perfect time to start. You got to start now with changing your life. Stop sitting on the fucking bench and get in the mother fucking game. Let's make this the year where we stop that shit. Years of mediocrity is what causes people to be bitter. If you want to get around bitter and complaining people, get around people who are not seeing much activity. They're bitter, they're complaining, they're cynical, and they're jealous because nothing is happening, because nothing is going on in their life.
And if you want to stop that from happening to you, wake up in the bed and know what you're going after. Get up out of the bed with an agenda. When you have an agenda, you don't spend time worrying about how you feel because it doesn't make a difference how you feel. You woke up with something to do. And if you don't start changing your attitude, you will miss your altitude. The problem is not the condition. It's a matter of discipline. There is no shortcut to excellence. You got to force yourself to get up and get it done every day of your life. Commit yourself to executing on the plan on a daily basis, no matter what's going on around you. Stop hoping, stop wishing for great things to happen to you and get up and work for them. Make them happen. Take full ownership of your time, of your mind, of your day. It is the struggle. It is the wrestling. It is the pulling. It is the trial. It is the temptation. It is the stumbling and falling and getting back up again. It is the aggravation and the intimidation that gives you foundation to create a legacy. It is worth it to look bad for a little while and come up looking good for a lifetime than to look good for a minute and come down in a flash. And in order to do that, I've got to become disciplined. I've got to go through some struggle. I've got to get used to suffering because the lifestyle I'm building, it can't be instantly obtained. It takes that blood, sweat, and tears of commitment. I learn in the doing. I learn in the fight. My strength tolerance increases. My ability to handle pain increases. My wisdom increases. I become tougher. I become stronger. I become more and more of an unstable Unstoppable beast. And what is it that makes it worth fighting for? When you're getting trampled by life, when everything is working against you, when anything that could go wrong does go wrong, what makes it worth it to you to keep pushing forward? What keeps you going? I don't know what you're going through right now, but I need you to remember if you can find a why for living, you can endure almost any how. When you're getting attacked by life, you're going through the worst pain you've ever felt. And you can find those reasons that make you strong enough to keep going. You will find a way through it. You'll shift your inner dialogue from why does this have to happen to me? I don't deserve this. I can't handle this to good. I'm glad this happened. This is a chance to get better. This is a chance to improve myself and my situation. I can do this. I can handle this. I got what it takes. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything, but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this sh It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger. What most people do is once you get stressed in the process, you don't want it anymore. You give up. You fold, you quit, you're through. But in order to develop, in order to become the best version of yourself, stress is necessary. See, a seed has got to have dirt on top of it in order to grow and develop. Dirt builds character. Dirt gives you the push through factor. Dirt makes you fight through it when you don't feel like fighting anymore. Everybody gets dirt put on them at one point or another. And that's the moment that teaches you to withstand it. It gives you something to push through. So when you feel like giving up, don't. When it looks like you're not gonna make it, keep going. When they tell you you can't, ignore them. When they tell you you're not gonna make it, do not believe them. You gotta become relentless. Never stop, never quit. The most important thing is your passion. You win with your heart, not your head. You win on emotion, not on logic. The most important thing to winning is the power of believing in you, the power of believing that you can win, the power of believing that good things will happen to you, the power of believing that you're special. You must believe that you can. And once you want something and believe that you can get it, you got to block out all the noise around you that's going to tell you you can't do it. Don't listen to all that shit. 
Listen to yourself, that voice within you that tells you that it is possible, that there is a way for you to be successful in this business, in this career, in this life. In this situation that you're in, your life is at stake. You are fighting for your life every day by the way that you live it. The mark that you're going to leave, the legacy that you're going to leave, all that is going to come back to you. That is your life. So don't sit back and be on the defense and allow life to happen to you. Don't do that. Instead, go on the offense. Go on the attack. Become the aggressor. Be the one that life is afraid to mess with. And remember that everybody won't make it to your next level because everybody won't be willing to sacrifice what it takes to create greatness. This is your journey. Struggle is a part of it. Losses are a part of it. Setbacks are a part of it. Sometimes you have to go through your worst just to become your best. Sometimes you have to lose everything just to gain everything. Don't let it discourage you. Let it encourage you. Fail your way to success. Fail your way forward. Failure is only when you stop trying. Failure is just another step in the staircase to go higher. You will never grow without growing pains. The valley might be ugly, but I promise you, the peak is beautiful and it will all be worth it. So don't ever stop climbing because the only way it works is if you work. The only way you progress is if you proceed. So you rise above anything or anyone that's in your way that's trying to prevent you from being great. You know how you get confidence? By attacking your fear, attacking those hard things you know you gotta face and overcoming them. There's a big misconception out there that people who are successful are not afraid, which is not true. People who are successful are oftentimes the most afraid. They're afraid of failure. So they do everything they can to escape it. So they're gonna run the hardest. They're gonna run the fastest. And they're gonna be the ones who are gonna take every single action that they have to take to make sure they get where they need to be. So I don't want you to wait any longer. Don't worry about the how or what ifs. Make a list, put your back up against the wall and execute on that damn list. Do that every single day and you will be where you want to be. I guarantee it. The journey is not easy. Everyone's hot off the start, but after a month or so into it, with the wear and tear and the grind starts to hit you, you start losing focus on the horizon, do you not? You get caught away in the daily hiccups, the ups and downs and the wear and tear. And you focus on the speed bumps, the daily activities, losing sight of the true purpose. Most of you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. Don't cry to give up. Cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain. You already hurt. Get a reward from it. The difference between a winner and a loser, the failure's there every single time. It's just the winner gets back up and does it again and does it again until it goes his way. I don't care how hard you fall. I don't care if nobody don't believe in you. It only takes you believing in yourself to get this thing done. And listen to me, it ain't failure if you learn from it, baby. So if you fall, fall on your back so you can look up. Because if you can look up, then you can get up. I dare you to take a little pain. I dare you. At the end of pain is success. If you can stay in the race, if you can stay in the fight, then you can dictate your own future. I dare you to fail. I dare you to take that same class over and over again. I dare you to stop dropping classes like you soft. See, getting what you want is up to you. You can turn your life around if you change your attitude. You change your attitude, you change your altitude. Your mind and attitude is all you need to be successful. That's all you need. You don't need to be born with a silver spoon in your mouth. You don't need money. You don't even need folk that like you. As long as you believe in you. You got the right mindset. You got the right attitude. We can make it happen. I don't care what's going on around you because it's not what happens around you that determines your success. It's what happens inside you. And you can't control the elements, but you can control your attitude and you can control your mindset. And I'm telling you right now, don't give up. I'm telling you right now, don't give in. Get through it. And so God has allowed you to go off the rough side of the mountain, not so he can hurt you or break you. He's trying to redesign me. I'm telling you right now because I care about you. I'm telling you right now because I've been there. I've done that. You've been in it for three years and you about to quit. Ho! Oh, you've been doing it for five years and it don't look like you think. You put all your money in it. 
You put all your time in it. People are looking at you crazy. Five years you've invested. Oh, you put too much in it to quit now. Oh, it doesn't look like you think you didn't get the grades you thought you were going to get. So maybe I'm not meant to be a lawyer. Oh, lay hold of it. You lay hold of it. And when that thing tells you to quit, you look at it in his eye and say, I ain't going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You've been through so much hell. You gonna quit now? And when you get to success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it's about stamina. You won't break me. You can't take me. I'm far too long. I'm far too hard. I'm unbreakable now. You get one shot. Opportunity comes once in a lifetime. You better make the kind of decisions that's going to take you to the NBA. You better make the right decisions that's going to take you to the NFL. You better make the right decisions that are going to land you the next best rapper, the next business tycoon. It's one thing to talk about your destiny, but it's another thing to wake up when you know you're supposed to wake up. To write when you don't feel like writing that paper. To say no to that party. Saying no to quitting when you still got a hundred more shots to make. Saying no when your body said don't stop. But you put in 50 more push-ups. You can't just talk about it. You got to be a body. Download this video and audio by becoming a member at BenLionelScott.com. Plus, get early access to all new content and hundreds of exclusive videos.